Okay, today I'm working on a Hobbs VF6SS. I uh, wanted to show a little bit of the uh, pocketing program from Mastercam. Uh, this is a dynamic tool pad. I'm going to ramp down with a ISCAR Chatter Free half inch. It's set up to do a ramp down at 3820 RPM. It's like 50 inches a minute. And it's doing an overlap pass. So instead of it being just a straight line that goes back and forth down it, I found that it squeals when it gets that bottom, bottom part. So it's going to go down on one side and come back another. You can add a 15 thousandths during the pass uh, in the master cam parameters. So it's going to go down, I believe it is pretty close to half of an inch. And then it's going to ramp up the RPM. It's going to pause and then start moving about 319 inches a minute at pretty close to 8,000 RPM. Uh, it says a uh, 40,000 step over in the dynamic padding. So you'll see it do most of the inside part and then start to try little movements in the quarters. I do, I'm not using coolant on this. For some reason, this tool doesn't like when you use coolant on these fast for passes. It seems to crack it and blow it up, I'm guessing, because of the, uh, the heat contrast. So I have a, uh, one of these air blowing deals. Took the hose off and uh, it's blown directly on the tool. I got it as close as I possibly could with what I had. So let's fire this bad boy up. It's going to be a little bit loud, so you might want to turn your speakers down. All right, just to add some more information, uh, you see on the back radius portion when it did in here, you can see it's, it's a decent way deep. What I had to do is for the arc on its backwards pass, I set it to be a little bit larger. I believe it's at uh, 0.4 radius. Also does the 5,000th micro lift in the back end of it. And then in the Haas control, you have to set the, uh, what was that? it's a cutting setting. You have a medium, rough, and finish past the G187, you can call it a P1, P2, P3. And then in the master cam side of it, on top of the micro lift, I also had to program it to have a, I believe it's a 5000 arc tolerance. And then down below, you'll see a G17 portion of it where you can change it to uh, up at arcs instead of lines. And uh, she boogies pretty good. So this is A514 T1. Uh, and uh, it's a pretty impressive program from Astrocam.